yes, I absolutely would support a district-wide campus wear. I feel that student dress has become so diverse that it's become a distraction in the classroom. And I feel that campus wear would give the school and students a sense of unity, a sense of pride. Um, I also feel at the end of the day, the greater focus would be on learning. I think a district-wide campus policy would be wonderful. I think it would bring uniformity to the classrooms, to the school system, um, and not have children stick out in, in the various crowds and cliques. Um, I would, I think it would put kids on an even playing field uh, and the social end of things. There's kids would be judged by their character, not so much of what they wear, and, and uh, kids would, wouldn't feel as insecure about what they may or may not have. An appropriate campus wear policy for me would be as like a business casual look in an office setting. So I would say polo shirt, Oxford shirts, um, dress pants, dress shorts, skirts, capri pants, um, and sweaters if the students should choose to wear so. I know we've looked at the different ones and it doesn't have to be too strict. I mean, I think where we're looking at is very casual. Um, it would be uniform for all ranges of um, funding for students, for parents, for the, the district as a whole. Uh, appropriate would be, you know, everybody would look like they belong uh, in one unit. Uh, you'd be able to recognize one of our students by walking out there, walking in the community, you know, to and from school, whether obviously probably be our school colors, uh, whether it's red, black, or white, um, maybe some uniform looking khaki pants, black pants, um, no denim, probably uh, collared shirts, that sort of thing. Uh, maybe some sweaters, d different variations of it, but you could definitely identify some kids as uh, Bucyrus City School. Uh, students. I do. I think it would be a positive move. Um, I think because that way they're not comparing, they're not wanting to compete with the other children to have a certain shoe, to have a certain pair of pants or, or anything like that. I mean, I think it would be good because everybody would be equal. There, there wouldn't be the different levels. Um, school climate would definitely, I, th I think, I just think kids would be more focused. They'd be more um, formal feeling, like they're there to kind of like do a job. I tell my students every day that they're, this is their job. You know, mom and dad go to work, um, you go to school to prepare yourself for the workforce, which is, leads to the next part of that would be, um, you know, people having the, the right uh, attire for job interviews and the workforce to, um, you know, kind of that dress to impress sort of thing. You don't necessarily have to be wearing designer clothes, but uh, looking put together and um, kind of um, show some respect for the position that you're, that you're there to, to do a good job um, from top to bottom. No, I mean, I do support it. I feel that um, right now I do not have any kids in the school district, but I will and I would look forward to them dressing that way and having their focus be more on learning. I don't think we're trying to take away from the children and the young adults with their individuality. I know that's a scare for many of the parents that they um, feel we're taking away their individuality because they can't express themselves with how they, what they wear and, and all of that, but we're not doing that. I mean, we still want to support the Redmond. I know the all of the boosters sell the spirit packs with all of that and I think that's something that the committee will take into consideration you know at looking at that because there is a lot of money brought into the district through purchasing that and that's something that we'll look at but we need to do something and and I think this is a step in the right direction. I just think that it's, it's a it's an important piece to uh, prepare kids um, as adults um, you know even though I, we don't have a scripted dress code as teachers, but it says, you know, professional attire, uh, you know, and, and I think some people wouldn't even know what that is. I've, we've, you know, I've seen some people's idea of professional attire compared to somebody else's, and it just kind of guides them that way. Um, and would, it, it benefits, we, we prepare them, um, you know, academically, but we don't necessarily prepare them in other ways, and this would be one more piece to preparing them to go out into the workforce.